All right, in this video, we're gonna be looking at the proper shift points for a 4R70W 2011. This one happens to be in a Crown Vic. I mentioned it being in a Crown Vic because it, in a heavier SUV or large van, truck, something like that, with more weight, your shift points can vary a bit. The 4R70W is a four-speed automatic, so the shift points will be different in five-speed, six-speeds, eight-speeds. I'll be doing videos on those later. First, we do light throttle. There's the one-two shift already. Two-three shift. That looks like lock up. And the three, four shift. Next we do medium throttle. One, two. <clears throat> Not sure. I think that was lock up. And there's three, four. Or it could have been the other way around. Three, four, and then lock up. Now we're gonna do heavy throttle. So I can't promise you we're gonna get a three, four because I may have to let off of it before we get to that. Man, y'all count the seconds you can tell me in the comments what the zero to 60 was. All right. Okay, we don't have a straight enough road around here to get any faster than that without dying. The, the curves get really quick, really fast. So, I know you can't feel the shifts in the video, but all these shifts feel nice and short and crisp. None of them feel bangy, even at even at heavy throttle, you don't feel any bang to the shifts at all. And at light throttle, they don't feel mushy or soft. And in no throttle do they ever feel slide bump or anything like that. They always feel about the same amount of quickness, shortness, and the same amount of, of firmness. Now, in older transmissions that are not electronically controlled, you're going to feel a that vast difference between the heavy throttle and light throttle, the firmness of the shift. <clears throat> but with this 4R70W, like I said, it's 2011. It's all electronic controlled. The shift feel is pretty much the same throughout. But how, how late in the RPMs it waits to shift, as you could see, it's a lot higher RPMs the more throttle you give it. If you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments. And I'll try to find some other vehicles to drive and show you. And I'll try to find a straighter road so we can get a higher top speed at heavy throttle. Thank you for watching to the end. Now get off the couch and get dirty.